Hello and welcome back to Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. We are right here where we left off, uh, I believe near Yalom. And uh, yeah, we're going to uh, do some things today, I hope. Um, I do have some specific plans. They do not involve sailing the seven seas. Uh, seven seas. Uh, let's take a look at our notes. So first of all, I wanted to show you that we have now crossed off one of the main quests embody the eight virtues we are now a full avatar so we've got that done and um one of the things we need to know is uh the parts of the key now we found the bell and we found the book and that's very important um we have to find the candle but we also need to know what the part of the key is and so like in serpent's hold we found somebody that would tell us right there what was the uh, part of the key. Now, I for the Lyceum, we just got the Resurrect spell from there not too long ago. And it turned out, I believe a, a lovely commenter told me that you had to go to Moonglow to get the information about what Nigel called a stupid spell so that he would tell me how to make it. And so I hadn't really put together that the stuff for Moonglow there might be people in Moonglow that are going to tell me about things that relate to relate to stuff to do with the Lyceum. So I haven't asked people about the book in Moonglow. I'm pretty darn sure. So we're going to we're going to Moongate over to Moongo, and we are going to see if we can figure out what the part of the key is. Because obviously, if we find out that the Lyceum is, say, for example, the first part of the key, then we know that empath that uh, the candle is the second part of the key. And, uh, and yeah, and then we might actually try to get to the, to the town off Lock Lake because that's the candle is there and there's other things that are there and, um, we haven't seen any whirlpools, but I, I think I have another method to get us there. So let's take a look at our, we are actually, where, what am I looking for here? I want moon phases. Navigation. All right, so we just need to go from Yalom to Moonglow. It's the third one, uh, the third thing. So we're just going to wait here for a moment, or maybe not. Here we go. So that's the first destination, the second destination, and the third. Okay, so here we are over in Moonglow area. And let's enter the town. And I'm going to sneak a peek at my notes real fast. I just want to double check. So the Lyceum, which is what's here on Verity Isle, is... I mean, maybe I'll just... I, I think I will, I will... All of my... Yeah, Lyceum. That's it there. I'm just checking all of my, my preconceptions to make sure I'm doing them right. So we, we want to ask about the book. Is what we want to do. So we're just going to kind of go around. We've been, you know, we've obviously been through here many times. We've talked to everybody before, but we've probably not asked them about the book. So let's see what people might have to say. Can I help me? All right. And then if we don't get anything from here, then we are going to, um, we'll go back up to the Lyceum and see if I just miss somebody. Actually, it should probably be asking about the key as well. Okay. Okay. And this is a prospective mage that, if I wasn't a mage, would have been a companion. Um, but they're not. And uh, I, I'm not expecting them to have the key piece of information. Pardon the pun. And they do not. All right. So let's see. Is that a different mage? That is a different mage. Let's talk to this guy. Batter mage. What's your name, sir? Tyrone. Okay. Do you know anything about the book? Know anything about the key? All right. No wonder you're battered. All right. So there's... We have this guy. An insane looking man. Name... Theranor book. He turns away. I guess he is. Okay, key. All right. I didn't really expect an insane guy to be 
to be very helpful, but uh, figured I better check. What's your name? I just asked the name just for Chucks. What's your job? I don't remember what this guy is. I create tales of honesty. Imagine that. Remember, there's no tale of threats, for I'm strong in honesty. Yes, I do. In fact, you might say I'm an avatar. Corruption. Corruption wins not more than honesty. Okay. I just wanted to remind myself what, what, what it was he did. So nothing on the book. Nothing on the key. Thanks for nothing. Uh, we do have this person. Tall mage. Name. Browning. Okay. Book. Key. All right. We're getting a whole lot of bupkits. I mean, we really just need, there's probably one person we need to talk to. Um, Inu, what's your job? That's not a name. I read palms. Okay. Fortunes. Remember this guy. Give thy palm. Sure. A great quest will lead thee into the abyss where the codex awaits. Knew that. Abyss. Book. Key. All right. Well, not a super great piece of information. Already knew it. I mean, when you consider that basically, I think that's what uh, Lord British tells us has to happen right from the get-go, you know, so. Uh, oh, a dying young wizard. Well, that's sad. Uh, what's your name, sir? Shazam. Job. Oh, this is the guy. All right. He's not, probably not, because he provided us the name. I didn't realize he was dying. Poor, poor, poor sot. I have heal spells. Doesn't Nigel? Well, he's got resurrect. But yeah, Nigel's going to resurrect him. All right. All right. So we can't help with the book. He can't help with key, and I expect not because you know generally one NPC is is only going to have you know one big piece of of information to share. All right. Let's talk to this person, Meek Shepherd. Baltric. Okay. Can you tell me anything about the book? Can you tell me anything about the key? All right. And then we are here at the Sage Deli. Um, actually, I mean, we're not super duper hurting for food, but let's just take a peek at the, yeah, they're not too bad here. 25 for 25. So maybe I spend a hundred bucks, hundred gold, I should say, and we'll top off our, our food. Okay, I, I think I'm going to um, I still have a little bit more gold here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get some more rations just to make sure we have enough because we do go through it really fast. So um, I'm gonna say four. I was thinking I was thinking that well we may have to do some day drinking at the pub. And uh, I don't think that's the case. Okay, so I don't remember. Did I already talk to this person? Key. Nope. Okay, I think I did. I think I've covered Cosma. Not Bach. Book. Key. All right. <clears throat> Who's this guy? I think we talked to this guy before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked to Tyrone. Uh, nobody else there. Tyrone, get out of my way. No wonder you're battered, sir, because you're annoying. Let's talk to these guys. Book. Key. Okay. Yeah, if I'm doubling up on somebody, I'm sorry. I just have a total brain fart. Who I talked to and who I didn't.
A uh, kid isn't going to tell me squat, I don't think. Let's talk to this person. Starving journalist. Book. Key. I might question why you're starving. You've got a bunch of gold. Just saying. And there's nobody in that room. Yep. Okay. All right. I think, uh, I think we're done here. I think we've gotten everything. Yeah, I think we could talk to these guys. All right. So we didn't find the answer we wanted here. So I think it's going to be um, off to the Lyceum here. And see if we can find it. Oh, we got some Etna need killing, so we'll replenish our gold a little bit. That's all right by me. All right, you can't do anything. You can come over. You come over, Rilo. That guy was critical. How is that? I thought he said he was critical, and now he's lightly wounded. I'm confused. That guy's dead. Nobody's lined up there. Now he's fleeing. All right, he's gone. And then we'll let Iolo and Shamino, I think it is, have some fun. And they both missed. And Shamino's, I mean, Iolo's got his crossbow, right? I did that. We did that bit. Yeah, crossbow. I don't know. We'll see. He did hit there. So let's see. We'll have to see if that's going to help his accuracy. I, I would think a crossbow bolt would inflict a considerable more... I would think a crossbow bolt would inflict a, a considerable uh, greater amount of damage. In all honesty. All right, I'm going to come over here. Um, hot, oh, crap. All right. I'm going to bring you up. Oh, how dare you throw a rock at me, sir? All right, that guy's toast. It looks like we got a guy here that's going to want to try to try to flank us. That'll certainly work out very well for you, sir. That was sarcasm. All right. All right. Very nice. All right. He's fleeing. Come on, Katrina. Oh, he's still fleeing. Heavily wounded. Very good. Dead. Even better. Killed. All right. Enter the town. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. I think there's a beggar over here, isn't there? Yeah. Book. Apparently my caps lock was on key, so I'll be, oh no, there we go. All right, you are no help. I think he pointed us to the guy that told us about it or something like that. All right, I don't think the guard, well, let's check the guards. Book. Key. All right. Key. All right, this is going to be the welcome guy who usually isn't isn't helpful. I mean, he's there to welcome you, but he's not going to tell you anything. He doesn't have any actual data. All right, that guy's non-communicative. This is Nigel, I think. Right, so we got the spell from him. He's not going to have anything else, and he does not. And he does not. How about you? No response. Another not. I'll, I'll try one more time. Yeah, okay. 
Some of these guys just won't talk to. Uh, book. Book. No key. Okay, you are no help, sir. Hope you get better. Book. Key. All right. Book. Key. All right. There's no hidden walls here. Don't look like it. All right. Okay, here we are with Rob and Beth. Book. Key. Yeah, you'd think they would... You'd think they would know. Abyss. Codex. You know nothing. You're but smarter, Beth. Aren't you? Uh... Maybe you've got the answers I need. All right, maybe you don't. Scat two. Book. Key. All right. I'm beginning to feel like this is going to be a exercise in fail. I wouldn't necessarily expect a jester to know. I don't know. And this guy's just concerned that I might be here to steal the gold. I remember that I remember this person, and I am not here to steal the gold. No other secret passages out of here other than that. All right, and there's none over there. Let's go up here. Okay, we got Jimmy the Lock. Gosh darn it. I'm going to have to, next time we're at Vesper, I'm going to have to buy some more keys, I guess. I, I have some. I have enough to do this today, but it, it annoys me to Jimmy the Lock into a room that I've already opened it to get the book. I think that's where we got the book. Uh, who looks strangely familiar. Did we ever find out why they look strangely familiar? Nope. Okay, so let's um, uh, ask about our stuff. Book. Seek ye the book of truth of the other books lie. Okay, so that's pointing me to the library. So that's the one piece of information. Yeah, okay. So that's your bit of information. Oh, yeah, and then we have the observatory. So he's not going to have anything because he's... Yeah, he's there to, to, to do the observatory. Now, there aren't any secret passages out of here. There are not. I've thought about coming here and just grabbing screenshots of all of the... We'll do that last. We'll go into that room last. You know, that's kind of our help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. All right, so... Book... Key. Hmm. All right. Book. Key. Hmm. All right. You're a big help. Meaning you're not. No response. All right. Let's talk to this person. Truth seeker. You anything about the book or the key? All right, did I talk to this bozo here? Okay. And here we are at the entrance again. So we've gone, we've done the whole circumference. So, so we can go back up. Let's give me that lock again. Dear God. How many, how many keys do we have? Two keys. Yeah, we definitely need to get back to Vesper or what was it, Buccaneer's Den that's out in the middle of the sea. Oh. Okay, now we can open up. All right, talk. Book. Key.
Herein is the largest store of knowledge in Britannia except the Codex. Yes, I am. Well, I was. Which book? Truth. Look under T. Yeah, okay. All right, so that was a bit of information he was supposed to give us. And we had to we had to wait for this bozo to we had to search for it. All right, so let's talk to this guy. What's your job? Research. Re okay, that's about that, right? All right. Uh, book. Key. Codex. Research. Okay, dude. Most researchers can talk about what it is they're researching. All right, so this was a big pile of absolutely nothing. A big pile of frustration. That's what we have here. Which we'll take out on a single skelling. Because that's how we go. Boom. <laughs> Somebody's shooting at me. Who's shooting at me? Oh, dragons. Well, let us take out some dragons. Oops. All right, heavily wounded already. That's good news. You can't do anything. I'm just going to kind of leave these guys here. And what we might do after this is hole up and camp because everybody's taking a, a little bit of damage. I mean, nobody's in dire straits. All right, good job, Shamino. Barely wounded. Still barely wounded, lightly wounded. I don't know if this guy's trying to flee. I don't think so. I don't think we've hit him at all up until just now. This last round. Okay, yeah, now he's swooping in for the attack. Miss, miss, miss. Miss, miss, miss. People are killing me. Get him before this razor sharp, bloody claws can. That also kind of look like roller skates. Gouge our flesh. Heavily wounded. Now he's critical. Beautiful. Couple more hits. And he ought to be toast. Or just one. One's good. All right, he's heavily wounded. We gotta wait for these other guys to get lined up in our killing lanes, if you will. All right. Come on over. Don't just stand there and hit us with your diagonal attack. That's not very nice. Jeez, that guy's... I mean, those are the first two shots we got out of him. He went from critical to fleeing in two shots. To dead in three. Wow. That must have been like a junior dragon. Lightly wounded. Heavily wounded. All right. Yeah, 32 gold, not too bad. It's not like they're gonna have pockets. Oh, we got some Cyclops there. Let's hold up and sleep. I, I, I'm thinking I want to rearrange the party a little bit because I think I want to move like Iolo up. So Shamino's good where he is. Um, Oh, man, we got a lot of stuff here. We got a lot of stuff here. Uh, I don't remember the command to move players around. Um, that's not it. And now we're in battle. I'll have to figure that out. But what, my thought process is, is, is 
so like me and Shamino and Iolo have the most hit points. And so we should be the front row, I think. So right now it's me, Shamino, Joffrey. And Joffrey's not too bad, but I, I think I want to have uh, Iolo because he's got more more uh, hit points than Joffrey take to replace uh, to replace Joffrey there. So, but I'll, I'll have to look up. I do it so infrequently, you know, s switch around the order of the party that uh, I just don't remember. I don't remember. Don't remember. All right. Okay, that's one Cyclops down. Um, hmm, okay, I guess you can come down. I think we're pretty much going to go into two lines. I mean, right now we've only got one of them lined up, but I'm assuming that will change just like right the heck now. I can't cast any spells, or neither can Shamino for that matter, but we don't really need to cast spells for these guys, so... You know, if, if the Balrons had that can't cast spells effect in addition to their ability to cast all those nasty nasty sleep spells that would be horrible <laughs> that would be horrible but thankfully they don't so we can fireball them but they take a lot of fireballs that's interesting the zorn went on top of the rocks how is that fair we can't go on top of the rocks. You know? What's up with that? Barely wounded. Iolo. Dude, you're killing me. You got your nice shiny crossbow and you're missing. It's just, you're driving me nuts. Maybe, his, you know, maybe his eyesight's going. I always kind of envision Iolo as a slightly older guy and, you know, I'm a slightly older guy, so. You know, so maybe his eyesight's going a little bit. All right, 69, we're making some nice gold here. Just working out our frustration. Now, these are liches. And, uh, yeah, I don't necessarily remember what their attack is. Other than being butt ugly. <laughs> That's for darn sure. I'm going to move his, uh, what's her name? Katrina over because she's one of our better shots in the kind of the primary lane here since I think this is where most of our people are going to be heavily wounded. It's nice that they spread out a little bit so we can get everybody involved and that guy's dead. Nice little XP for Julia. All right, come on. He's critical. Next hit might be it. Ah, now he's fleeing. Good job, Iolo. I give you a hard time when you miss, but you hit, and now he's gone. Ooh, that guy's heavily wounded. And now he's critical. Is he gonna be a three hit wonder? Not with Iolo. And Katrina misses too. Oh, now he's fleeing. Or was he fleeing before? I forget. All right, good. We're down to one. He's just slightly wounded. Ooh, nice. Went from lightly wounded to critical. Good shot, Iola. Must have hit something tender. There we go. 
Oh crap, I'm poisoned. Alright. Um well, we just hold up hold up encamped. Oh, I didn't even notice these guys. They were like blended into the trees. Alright. We're kinda of, I don't I don't like our positioning here. Because I was accidentally thought I was I was moving through trees and uh, it thought I was taking my turns here in combat <laughs> and the troll's gone already. Lovely. All right. The rest is just mopping up. Like I said. Heavily wounded. Just take a practice shot, Joffrey. Why not? Arrows are cheap. You can make your own. I wonder if that's a story reason for having unlimited arrows is because you can, you know, get branches and whatnot in theory and make your own while you're out and about in the woods. I mean, I know there's a lot more of that. You got to have straight sticks and you got to. <clears throat> you know, have have the have the um, well. I guess technically speaking, you don't have to have an arrow head on them because you could just sharpen the ends. But is that guy fleeing that I just hit? I guess he was, and I think this guy was fleeing as well. Yep, he was. All right, all right. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, can we hold up in camp? It's been a little bit. We've been walking around. And I think once this is done, we're going to um we're going to call this an episode. Yeah, okay. I'm still not a hundred percent health, which is strange. I guess I was further down than I thought, but we're pretty good on food. We're really good on gold. I actually might pop in and buy some more food here. And then what I think we're gonna do next time is we're gonna make another bid for Lost Lake. And we're going to do the whole, you know, sitting on the dock of the bay. I've heard tell that there is a ship that will show up periodically. So we're going to find the shoreline of Lock Lake and we're going to sit and maybe do some fishing or something until a ship comes by and hopefully a ship comes by. That's my thought for next time, but who knows? I might change my mind. You never know. But uh, thank you for watching this episode. I do hope you come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.